When I start any Elementor development, there's typically five plugins I install right off the bat that helps my entire development. Stick around to the end to see some honorable mentions as well. Number one is typically some sort of duplicator plugin. That can be something like duplicate page, which will help me duplicate any custom post types I'm working on and or pages or posts that I'm working on. Now that segues into one of the next plugins I typically have on every Elementor build. Now this does depend on the build, but that is ACF. What ACF allows me to do is create custom post types and custom fields within those post types that I can dynamically pull to the front end using loop grids. Now, one of the other ones that I typically install, and this is for more technical developments where I'm gonna be altering WordPress code and or in conjunction with other plugins like WooCommerce, let's say, and that's gonna be code snippets. What that allows you to do is put code in your theme, somewhat like a child theme without having to create the child theme itself. This is just a code snippet within the plugin. The one that I typically install on all my builds is WP Help. What that allows me to do is put in a directory in the back end, somewhat like a custom post type, where it is just access to people who log into WordPress and there I typically house videos on how to do certain things on their website. This is much better than an external platform because it's all housed in one area and your end user doesn't need to go and search for this. Now, last but not least, number five is dynamic. Now this plugin has many, many features, but the main thing that I use it for these days is dynamically showing content with those custom post types, specifically on custom post type templates. Usually, usually if some post doesn't have certain information, I don't want that to show. So this plugin allows me to have more control over that specifically with custom fields more than the built-in Elementor dynamic conditions. Now dynamic conditions may get there someday and I would love to have to not install this on a lot of my builds. I found that this really helps me get most developments off the ground. Now there are alternatives to this. I think maybe premium add-ons has dynamic conditions. I think a dynamics works a little bit better and is a little bit more user-friendly. Now, on for some honorable mentions. One of those is Safe SVG, which allows me to upload SVGs directly into my media. Another honorable mention is any type of image compressor. I know Elementor now has their own, but I typically compress any image before I upload it onto the site. Now, this just helps compress it even more, um, which helps me save space. Or if the client typically uploads a lot of images, having an image compressor on there helps keep the site running quick and the server size down. Another one is page scroll to ID. What this does is just smooth your anchor links. Now, this is a, a really minuscule feature, but it is it adds quite a touch that is pretty nice. Now, last but not least for an honorable mention is sticky header effects for Elementor. Now this one I can replicate with some custom code myself and I have done it before. I find myself actually installing this on a lot of builds as of recently. It just adds some nice effects that a lot of websites and a lot of companies that we work with actually want to have and why reinvent the wheel when I kind of have something that works by itself. One, last but not least, one of the things that I like to add on many websites if I'm looking for some more dynamic and animations is actually motion page. Now it replicates what you can do with languages like GSAP and or Webflow with scroll based or mouse based animations without having to know the ins and outs of that. That's pretty much any plugin that I'm going to install on any Elementor and WordPress build. Last but not least, um, if you're looking for hosting, we typically use SiteGround. We've used SiteGround for years now. We've never had any issues with it. Their support is honestly fantastic. I've used their support more than I would care to admit. Um, there is a affiliate link in the description. It does help us out marginally, but other than that, it's just a great host. So head down there if you're looking for some hosting and stick around for some more videos. Thank you.